Hi everyone, Mark here from Staff Circle. A few weeks ago, I published my top seven predictions for HR technology in 2025. And here is my number two. It's a multi-model approach to reducing bias in interviews, appraisals, and elsewhere. What do I mean by a multi-model approach? Well, let me give you an example. We've all heard of challenges around bias being introduced where humans are taken out of the loop and AI is doing the scoring. Bias is a natural part of large language models because these models are trained on data sets originally created by humans. Now, the idea here is that instead of a single one, we have multiple large language models, say ChatGBT, which is OpenAI, and Gemini, which is Google. Both these models are then used to determine the scoring for items like interview questions alongside a human interviewer. Now, even though they're both based on a transformer architecture, their approaches are different. Plus, there are differences in the data set originally used to train these models, and this leads to variances in their outcomes. But how do we get this to work in a practical sense? OK, let me show you. If we do interviews online, and we're using tools like uh, Microsoft Teams or Google or Zoom, now we have a human interviewer, obviously, on the call, and we have a candidate on the call. But alongside this, we get a bot to, to join the call as well. And this bot then transcribes the conversation, passes it through to an API. And this API, in turn, sends this information through to two separate large language models. In this instance, it's OpenAI and Gemini, which then scores the individual interview questions alongside the human interviewer. You can then aggregate or average out their responses. And of course, alongside a human interviewer, it will hopefully give a far more balanced view during an interview or an appraisal. Now, as I said, this is my wild card for this year. So let's see what happens, but thanks for watching.